Ink Products has now just released the new continuous ink system for the Pro 200. So today I'm going to show you how to install it. Just a quick setup. Okay, next step, we're going to get to the installation part of the uh, process here. First, we're going to, uh, the machine needs to be prepped a little bit. So as you notice, there's no cartridges showing in the machine. Um, I've already taken them out. But this is what you want to do with the machine powered on. Um, go on, go ahead and lift this up, lift the lid. Covers open. And then you want to kill the power on it. So what I usually do is I just, when it starts to move, the center here. Wait a second. I just go ahead and pull the plug on it. It's the easiest thing to do. If it's not, you know, convenient to get out of the power plug, just pull it from the back of the machine, whatever is easier for you. Now we're going to slide this to the center here, to the cartridge change position. And uh, what I mean by prep the machine, I just got a little regular uh, rub, rubbing alcohol. And the reason why you want to do this, because there's some oils and stuff like in the machine or you know, any grease or anything like that. And these are the spots we're going to put the brackets. So in your instructions, you'll see where you're going to put them. But right now I'm showing you, just want to wipe it down a little bit. Wherever you're going to put a bracket. And it's just going to kind of take the oil off of there. Just like that. Okay, after that's done, the next thing, we give you these little silicone gaskets. This is for the CIS and also for the printhead. Uh, if you notice, I've already put a set of them in there. But with the original uh, gaskets that come with the Canon printhead, sometimes they're a little bit shallow depending on how they're manufactured or whatever. But um, I've already installed mine, and that's just going to help create a good uh, vacuum for the cartridge. After that's complete, um, you're pretty much ready for the installation. Get these out of the way here. Like I said, you want to be quick. Okay, now they're all clicked in. Now, when you get the, the ink system, we've already put the bracket on where it goes. So, uh, like we've had systems in the past with the Pro 100, you'd have to attach the brackets and then try to get the exact hose travel. This, we kind of made it a lot easier for you. Where we cleaned off the section before, you're going to simply peel the backing off of the two-sided tape, and you're going to apply it right here along the edge right there, just right next to the CD tray. And it's going to stick about like right there. I'm just giving you an idea what it's going to look like. And then you're going to push that part onto there. It's going to sit like that. Basically. And then, obviously, you're going to put your bypass, I'm sorry, your lid cover there. This is your bypass there. And then you want to check your hose travel Get all the way to the right. And you want to go all the way to the left. That's pretty much it. And you can kind of, you know, critique it a little bit. So here we go. Okay, so now we're going to remove the backing. The backing is a little tough to get off. What I did is take the little tip of the exacto, kind of get it started to peel off because sometimes it's difficult to get it off the backing there. Basically that's you're going to take it off. And again, you're going to line it up exactly along there and then go ahead and press it on like that. It's nice and clean, secure. There you go. Hose brackets on. Clears everything. Next, we'll put the stand off. Now I remove the back for the stand off. There's a little circle on top. That just keeps it off a little bit. Okay, system's in. Check my hose travel. All the way left all the way to the right you don't want too much or too loose because they have issues with like it makes a clinking noise and stuff like that um, so that's pretty much it now the ink itself they stay next to the bottle I mean next to the printer not higher or lower too high you raise it up gravity takes over it's gonna flood your printer you're gonna have a big mess so just keep it right next to the machine 
Um, now we're going to go ahead and power the machine on. You can go ahead and undo the pinch clip. Plug the machine in. Now for your second, for your last little hose bracket, you can put it like right here if you wish. Um, some people put it down here. I just like to put it right there. Power the machine on. And this is our hose chain we developed for large format printers. Um, works out really well for such a, a wide printer and a lot of cartridges. It keeps that uh, ink hose up nice. Now if you get a little error or whatever that says, you know, you turned it off incorrectly, you just say, you know, okay. Wait for it to come to the home position here. Now what this is, there's a little bypass there. That's gonna, Every time you lift the lid, the machine uh, brings the cartridges over. So you want to put this in there. As soon as it gets out of the way or does its little dance here, I'll show you. But there's a little slot. You can just go ahead and Push it down in there nice and flat. Now it thinks the lid is closed. I'm going to keep it open now just to give you an idea what's going on. And you know, see, power was turned out incorrectly. Don't worry, just say okay. Hey, there's all your colors lit up. Um, now, depending on when you transfer these, if you use the printer and the levels dropped, they're not going to change, they're going to stay at the same level. Um, when that color comes up and it shows depleted, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the uh, the stop button and you can actually shut that color off. Okay, so there we go. Everything's all in. You can actually shut this down about this far. Um, you want to remember to open up all the small air plugs on the side. Every one of them, only when you're printing. Obviously, when you're going to fill the bottles, plug them up, lay them down, and fill them. But that's in your instructions, so follow your instructions. And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, the next video, I'm going to show you a couple of prints come out of the machine. But that's just a quick uh, setup, what you should do. If you have any questions, you can always email us or contact us at inkproducts.com. Thank you.